Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome. So today is the fourth lesson, and we're going to complete the months of education and skills. Uh, let's talk about this a bit more because today is going to be a bit heavy. Okay, so uh, why don't I go through the uh, homework first instead of uh, going through my homework, my work first? Okay. So thank you for Gerald. That uh, Gerald, do we go through this? Uh? No, right? Did we go through this last week? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I think so. You think so? Uh, do you think so? Uh? Okay, uh? Confirm, uh? okay. So next, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, yes. Uh. Okay, but this one confirm don't have, uh, this one, because it just said, right? Right, Joe? And please, uh, for goodness sake, don't purposely put behind the max question for me. Eh? I'm scared. Eh? <laughs> you purposely, right? You purposely want to take a picture and then put the quadric function. Eh? Wow, what? Uh, what? I was what? doing that for more before that. No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't be so serious, okay? It needs to say I was some like an equation behind. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I won't do it, lah. Okay, I, I don't understand why max must be so complicated, lah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, until today, even though I passed my max, so isn't Albert Einstein like your cousin or something? Yeah, that's my cousin, but that's different. We have different uh faculty with different uh passions. Okay, he loved to go for formula. Uh, my formula is uh alphabet formula. So his is alpha numeric formula. So he's more intelligent than me now, of course. Okay. All right. Next. Shall we? Okay. I'm your, okay. Uh, Gerald. Let's go. I, I am your phone teacher. Um, do I put my name or is there like a given name? No. Uh, Gerald, right? This is Gerald, is it? Yeah. Hey, but bro, your general very small. Like, I thought I am your form teacher, Mr. Jam. Like. Seriously, I thought you put another name on Gerald. Oh, for goodness sake. It doesn't look like Gerald, right? Look at J-A-M. Very small, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely too small. I, I really can't see. Sorry. As the saying goes, tough people last, but tough times don't. Being a student may be difficult, but all... All of this help to build up your character and prepare you for the future. I believe that every one of you has the potential to be great and positively impact impact to the world. So don't let the potential go to waste. Being the next generation, you are the key to the future. Even if you are nothing impressive now, it is always darkest before dawn. Do what you want to do and follow your heart so you won't live a life of regret thinking about what if. Thus, this, this um, concludes, right? Yeah, you concludes all my advice for the cohort of Tushio Tutu. May you live your life to the fullest. Okay, first, I'd like to comment three good points for this part here. Number one, you really bring out the essence of motivation. Sir. That is the purpose I want to see. That's good. Number two, you bring out also using fist spot. Like tough people do not have time to find that kind of the last but not tough times. True. Huh? That's why, uh, Gerald, you went through the bloody shit of three years of COVID and make you tough. Huh? So next time, uh, your children and grandchildren are uh, uh, not happy, uh, uh, what, what frustrated, uh, you can tell them, hey, this is nothing. Uh. You know, your, your generations have went through more tougher than maybe next time, I don't know. Maybe their next generations, are, when they come face another viruses or attack, uh, they may be more, even maybe more serious, I don't know, or maybe more easier because we have already set the pace. So there's a second point. Uh. The third point is that I would love the last part. You really bring out the essence like of being a teacher uh, because you use the cohort of 2022, my advice. Okay, there's the three good points uh, I want to share with you, Gerald. And then the other three points are that is written on is number one, I think you should know uh, your handwriting. And number two, please, not, please do not use black ink. Okay. And number three is that uh, the structures of English, I think this might be the last minute that you hand in the homework. Uh, maybe like one or two days ago, like maybe last minute you do it and then quickly just submit it. So you did not check some of the sentence constructions, the grammatical um, structures and things like that. For example, number one, you see, if you are nothing, if, if uh, uh, even if you are nothing impressive now, uh, we don't say in this way. Uh, if we will mention and say, uh, even though you have nothing to impress to everyone, but your times will come. As they say, time and tides wait for no man. 
Uh, there's something like that. I know what you mean, but it is always doctors before dawn. I like this sentence, seriously. Okay, I'm not sarcastic. But you, maybe you can rephrase it. Uh, before dawn, we always face darkness. Right, true enough. Before dawn, right, we always face darkness. But nevertheless, we will see the sunrise at the end of the day. Something like that. Ah, that like like impact should be just strong. Now, okay, see it twice in two, right? Correct now. Right, no. Mean by man? Ah, nothing wrong. So you see, uh, the more you write, the more you improve. And that's the purpose for me to come here to analyze and, 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 and give you some suggestions of how do you improve your structures of English. All right, can Gerald? Then, of course, while you're reading, uh, you can't even really differentiate your handwritings too small. So you can you imagine, uh, uh, Gerald, after two years later, when you go for your set four, and you're going to submit this as an exam paper to the Cambridge, right? Hey, it's so cool. And now you understand black ink and blue ink is a bit different, huh, Gerald? So if you don't mind, uh, if you can change for now, all you can blue color. It's more bright. And if they are marking in Cambridge, are they marking at home at the camp, at the fireplace? You know, fireplace, the British people you know, you know the fireplace or because of winter. I always have these perceptions. Uh, they are marking in a very leisure way, relaxed way, you know, sitting at the fireplace, marking. Or I'm not sure. Maybe their light is very not so uh, bright as like in Singapore. I, I know it, okay, uh, Gerald. I, I went there to study before, so I, I, I know, wow, the, the, when you light, uh, the light uh, is so dim, and sometimes you know there's power failure and things like that, okay, of course of winter. So we have to take all these unforeseen circumstances and uh, be careful, okay? Uh, keep it up, honestly, keep it up. Well done. But the only thing is that to improve your handwriting, that's about it, okay? You still got a bit of time. I will say a bit, uh, because now you're set three, uh, a bit of time to catch up in set four. So definitely more than enough time. If my students, my ex student can within three months to four months improve his handwriting, uh, okay, I think you definitely can. Right? And don't do this, uh, all of you listen, uh, Tenyu and Hartley. Don't ever do this like that. Uh. The one is circle here, you see my mouse moving here and this one here. Don't ever do that seriously. Because I know majority of the examiners are like OCD, like Uncle Raven. Uh. Okay, because we have been marking papers for donkey years and suddenly, uh, you know, suddenly come out like that. My goodness. I cannot take it. Uh. You know, like just like Gerald, Gerald, if you have one pimple on your face, you feel very, ah, oh my God, you see? And the worst thing, the pimple is somewhere like in the middle here and here uh, or here. Or wow, if it's me, it's here, I still we can use the cover or clear cover. But it's somewhere very prominent, that's it. Okay, be careful. Uh. Okay, well done. But oh uh, my dear, there's teacher. Uh, teacher to student. What about student to teacher? You may say that. Ah, I think all of you have it right. Okay, back to you, honey. Yes. Uh, a bit noisy. Can, honey, uh. Yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, if next time, if you have no time, do not type. I will not accept any typing. Uh, if you've got no time, it's okay, honey. You can tell me, Uncle Raymond, I, really I definitely trust you, okay, honey? I definitely trust you. I want you to write. Okay, no, 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 no. This was the original one I written, which I was, which I haven't at the time transferred to like writing. Look, never mind. Next round, then you hand it to me. Me, my you know what? Yeah, the sir, you the handwriting so that it, I want you all to practice your handwriting. So when you go to exam, uh, you are ready to write. Wow, then you can feel the effect. You know, it's correct. Two Gerald, two Billy. But say that just honestly, lah, tell me the truth. 除了丢圈以外,你来 practice in the handwriting. 你们有没有真的? I, I give you one compo. Last time I did that, no, because my teacher keeps saying my handwriting sucks, suck, like shit. No. Finally, I decided to copy. No. I copy books. No. Really copy, no. painstakingly. And you know what, Gerald? Last time you buy full step paper to me, uh, it's, it's like very expensive product. No, seriously, seriously. Because I come from a super poor family. So I always use recycled paper to write. Seriously, and that makes me what I am today. Uh, okay, but now uh, if you have the luxuries to buy full scale paper, use it. Uh. Now uh, my house got so many full scale. Uh. Sometimes I don't know what to do with it. Okay, so please, all right, do not type anymore. It's not I ag against it, uh, but it's just like you see, uh, from Gerald, your handwriting you start to improve. You can see, I uh, can tell one. Uh, you see, uh, I, I'm not, I don't want to praise you for nothing. Uh. You can see the starting, you see, the way you write, you see, uh, you see a bit blurish. Like that, and then start, you see, you can see slowly, you're going to start improving, especially you come to this one here. You see? Ah, then slowly. Okay, this one I know is a rush work. Okay, definitely it's not good enough, to be honest. 
okay, you will not score well, but it's definitely can pass. Uh, but you see, this one is a uh, quite tense here. So it's okay. But because you know why I say, okay, because when you go exam, because left five minutes, you must quickly write. You cannot take your own sweet time, all right? So back to you, Hale. Are you ready to read to the class, please? Thank you, sir. Education is perceived by most as a lifelong journey of which people go through day by day, learning something new. However, education is also a structure in society where children are sent through a system of progressive learning increasing in difficulty for them to specialize in a certain area of the university. This structure leads to a functioning society where everyone supports the country in some way. Because education is progression, some choose to end it early to pursue forms of work. However, most jobs require you to have graduated from university with a degree. Most jobs require a certain amount of knowledge in that sector to be accepted into their job. For jobs such as engineering, which are purely technical, you must understand what every single part of a machine and its role to be, is to be able to fix it. For jobs related to business, having a degree in business shows understanding in the movement of money and transactions, what to invest in and what to avoid. Then what about jobs that don't require such in-depth knowledge? Being a chef requires you to have a basic knowledge of nutrition and material properties, in which case you have to go to cooking school. Many jobs require pro a proper education, and it has become the core purpose of education to have a good job and earn money. Having a good education, having a thorough, oh, I, I got that wrong, it's supposed to be thorough. Having a, th a thorough education allows one to secure a, job, a position in society, and education can only pay off by earning money and precious life experiences afterwards. Having a good education will open up so many paths for one to have a proper job and support oneself in life. You see, uh, thank you so much. I, 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 this is the first time I read your essay, uh, but well done. I think your maturity is there. That shows something, uh, even though it's a rush job, last minute you quickly get your, all your trains of thought together, same as Gerald, and same as Tim you are. It's there already, you know, you know why now, Gerald? You know why Gerald and uh, our three of you, you know why? Because when you go to exam, uh, sometimes you touch on, uh, touch on, uh, sometimes you might get mental block, oh my goodness. But because of your regular practices of doing this, uh, you are just like a thick one. Oh, okay, I know, I know. Uh, I, I, I read her name essay before, I read, read Tian Yu answer before, essay before. I, 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 I saw Uncle Raymond uh, taught me this part here. So you can just gather all the information immediately, you know, isn't it? Right, Jero. You see, uh, next time you go army, you'll know why. Uh, okay. Um, uh, time is very essential to in the war, especially in army, so, or even the Singapore Defense Force or even the police force. Uh. So uh, out of these three jobs I've been having, uh, the, my, my army life, my teacher's life, and my police life, all require disciplines and time management. Uh. So which is very good for me to manage my, my, my life better. But very stressful, uh, Gerald, seriously, because everything uh, must be like, on the tip top or it must on the spot. Look at two or two, just one time, correct? It's a domino if uh, reaction. Bop, 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 bop. So step one, two, two, step two, three, four, five, two, two, step one, two is okay, fine. Now, now step three, two, four, five, six, two, 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 so very dangerous. Uh. Now you know why why I, I want the, 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 the let you know that this right things or even any things that you do in life uh, is to prepare you for the real world. Okay. So Harley, I think you are there, but uh of course, uh yeah, you can you can just like that pop and give the answer on that. That is very good. But don't forget now. Uh, Okay, you know what is the, the not the disadvantage? Uh, don't forget when you are writing this, uh, there are some times that you sometimes you might forget, like for example, never start a sentence with because. Okay, I know a lot of te some teachers say nah, it's okay, la, nothing wrong. Now, I, I'm the old school of thoughts, uh, honey. Okay, unless the, the grammar rules are uh, the international say, you know, plateau or plateau, plateau, plateau. was it plateau? The last, the dwarf planet, you know, Plato, right? Pluto, Pluto, not Plato, sorry. Pluto, right? You know, the last planet, uh, right? Yeah, I do. You know, uh, is you have to go through a lot of scientists uh, to vote Pluto out of the solar system. You know, last time when my young elder son studied, uh, you have to say, my mother served nine pizza to, so using the, the arrangement of uh, uh, Mars, Mercury, Earth, Jupiter, Venus, that kind of thing, Satan said. And now Pluto is out of the whole solar system. That then every one scientist book is out, dwarf planet. Same thing, uh, if all the professor agree that to start the sentence with because it's fine, then you do it. Okay, so do not start the sentence because. So how do you do it? You can say, however, education is a progression. 
Nevertheless, education is a progression. As a matter of fact, education is a progression rather than because. Get me up. So this is, is the structure rules. And I, I would like to ask you, uh, how do I know this one here? Do you use A, I, M, S? Which one? Okay, is uh, A, uh, I, or M, S. Can you use your own pen and do it now? Can you scribble on my, my these uh, things here? Are you able to, uh, Harley? Uh, no, I found out last week that uh, the school laptop is so bad to the point I can't use the annotated function on Zoom. Cannot, huh? Cannot do here, huh? Yeah. Okay, so tell me which sentence is the atmosphere and which sentence is the interesting statements and which sentence motivate you? Oh, uh, the, the, interesting, the interesting one is uh, how the education is also structured in society where children are sent to a, yeah, okay, that one. This one uh, right? that, I, I yeah. will say this one is blue uh, as interesting. Uh. So I change color. Yeah. Okay, next one. Or uh, the atmosphere is uh, the first sentence. Because, like usually the first okay. sentence has the atmosphere of- uh, Not necessary. Okay. Some, sometimes, sometimes. Okay, yeah. Next one. Motivating. The motivation and the suspense will be the last sentence. Uh, the suspense is the last sentence, but the motivating one is the same sentence as the second one. This oh, one. I think I did the wrong one. Oh, come on. This yeah, is yeah, yeah, this is suspense. The last one is suspense. So this yellow color is an I and M. Uh. Yeah. Okay, then my advice, uh, why don't you do that? Uh? Okay, uh, this is a good one. Uh. Wait, uh, uh, let me change the color. My advice is, hey, my advice, hey, how come cannot change the uh, Hold on. Uh. Oh, I must know, know hi stop highlighting. Okay, my advice is, however, uh, students are this progressive learning, right? So in, um, set through a system of progressive learning. Then this one should be full stop. Then you must put something like that is a motivating, interesting, increasingly in difficulty for them to specialize in certain areas after university. Maybe you can add one sentence saying that, um, however, education is also a structure in society where children are sent through a system of progressive learning, full stop. So that's very interesting that you want to share with people that how children learn in a very progressive manner. But what motivating you is that, that uh, as we know that um, different stroke with different people, right? Like what is that? Uh, different stroke, different people styles, right? So different people have different. So wait, uh, so you can say different stroke to different people. Then you can add in that uh, by increasing in difficulties for them, for children to specialize in certain areas after university, we can have a different um, pedagogy. Okay, we can have a different pedagogy. Please, please write down this word. Okay, this is a nice word to use, uh, uh, Gerald. The word pedagogy is a set of way of teaching. Okay, how we, we perceive education, the education must deliver to the students. Okay, so this is pedagogy. Another one is called the ethos. Okay, this ethos is a high level. Ethos is like a ha hamala fashion. Write down these two words, uh, pedagogy and ethos. So thanks to you, uh, honey, you see? Okay, have you heard of this word ethos? Hello. I've heard of it, but I don't know the meaning. Okay. Ethos is something that kind of principle, like ABC, uh, like attitude, behavior, character, something that you want to set whatever you're teaching. Okay, pedagogy is a set of way of teaching. Uh. That means I want to set this criteria. I want to set this way of doing things. Ethos is something that I, I want to have the right piece of mind, things like that. Okay, thank you. All right, this tool is very useful. Uh because you will find out in, uh, in your comprehension passage or anything. But of course, these two, you will learn in, in different manners, like PRJs, Trotsky's. Uh, there are different ways. Uh, these are room testimony. Remember last, last week, I'll tell you, we got this seven level, right? Remember the uh, evaluation, the triangle, the room testimony? Remember last week? Huh? You forgot, yeah? Last week, you're not here, huh? Is it last week? I was, I was. It, it was only Friday that I was not here. Uh, maybe let's show you. Uh, okay, but um, okay, never mind. So okay, uh, I just save this. Uh. Okay, thank you. Uh. But this pedagogy and ethos is not supposed to be in this sentence like that. Uh. Okay, this is wrong structure. So I'm just adding these two words here. So I just highlight these two words to tell you that these two words can add in to make, make people to motivate. Oh, really? Uh? Oh, they miss, you, you mean you've got, you got ways of doing things to make sure that people learn in a different manner. People are able to to have a set of belief how I should learn. So, Han Ling, 
I believe you have your own way of studying and then you have your own way of uh, receiving knowledge. Gerald, you might be having a whole own way of timetable how to study for your exam. All right. Uh, so there's a kind of ethos, a set of rules and regulations, the way how you want to bring educations to yourself, the way how you want to see, to pass your educations, your knowledge and skill to others. As we know, this one is talking about educational skills. All right. Okay, let's stop this and go back to the uh, lesson. So thank you to the two of you. So Han Ning, uh, thank you. Gerald, thank you. So Tian Yu, I'm waiting for yours. If you can, if not, sorry, I got to move on with it. And it may affect your student performance appraisal. Uh, Tian Yu and Han Ning, uh, next tomorrow, I will share with all of, with the two of you together with the rest. Uh, Gerald, don't worry. I will share with you next round, okay, next month, okay? about how to give you the point system. So I'm going to give awards. Uh, just a quick one on Gerald for your benefits. Uh, uh, Hanning and then you will you have more information coming up tomorrow. So what we have, what I have here is that uh, the more star you get, uh, you will get at the end of maybe um, after no, in, in October, you will get a gift from Uncle Raymond. Okay, the gift will range from a $10 to a $100 voucher. Seriously, uh, uh, Hanning, the hundred dollars voucher is not to ask you to buy a ten years assessment book for O level, <laughs> okay? So one of them, I think. Uh, even if you, even if we had, did have the a hundred dollars and wanted to do, we couldn't because we already bought them. You really what? Sorry. It's compulsory. It's compulsory to buy them every year, so we yeah, already yeah, bought them. That is them your school. That's your problem with it, okay? Uh, maybe like hundred dollar like Genshin or oh, Lauren would be very happy uh, to hear that. Why? Uh, Why? I'm, I'm yeah. hearing something. I'm hearing yes. something. Genshin, Genshin, yes, yes, yes. I'm serious. Okay, so Gerald, this is a little um a appreciation and rewards to my students. So to show that to your to, to yourself and also to let your parents know that you are also doing your work. Okay. All right. So I'll tell you more about this next next month. Uh, okay. So now let's move on and cover it, this this uh, last topic. So Tianyu and Han Ling, uh, this is what you have written for your introductions. You have not written your idea once here, but I think you have done it, uh, uh, Tianyu. Uh, no, Han Ling, you have done it in your essay already, right? So I will put a tick here. Okay, to show that that is the, the homework that you do, right? Correct, uh, that's the whole thing. So uh, Han Ling also done it. Okay, so homework, you are teachers, okay. Uh, but only the, the three of you have not settled by giving your five skills. Okay, let's later we shall talk about with the five skills. Huh? Okay, let's move on to this one. Okay, this one is a very tough one. It's an IP school. Uh, back then, uh, I would like, I'm not sure you all print out this one. So we're going to read this and go and do some reflection of this about um, changes the way students assess. That means the way of education. So later we're going to talk about this one also, five skills. So can you, Han and Gerald, you must give me the five skills, what you think uh, as a student, you need to have. So I say, what are your five best skills you want to achieve this year? So now you as a student, I'll tell you, okay, you must tell me what are your five skills that you want to achieve. Example, you want connective skill, you want uh, kinetic skill, you want musical skills, you want uh, a vocal skill, you want debate skill, you want physical skill, you want um, um, physics skill. Physics means your body, uh, build up your body's fixed, very fit and strong. Uh, Gerald, you want to have uh, mathematical skills, uh, science skills, get it up. Name your five skills. The reason now is just still January. And this five skill, please be truthful to yourself. Don't tell me uh, gaming skill, Genshin skill, I'm going to kill you, I tell you. So serious skill, uh, you know why? Because this five skill will lead all the way to your set for next year. So you are thinking to that. Okay, if I'm, if I'm Tian Yu or Han Ling or Gerald, uh, my five skill will be what? Communication skill, project skill. Seriously, yeah? and mental skill. And then the third one, uh, uh, stress skill. How to manage stress. Seriously, that's very important. Especially this year, uh, Hanling, you can see, right? The thing from very tough. Uh, just uh, only begin, just, it's just only the tips of the iceberg and just, I'm just getting on to it, right? Yeah, Hanling, you see, oh my God, Uncle, can you just shut up? Don't talk anymore. Uh. It's over. Very serious, right? Yeah. Oh, today he's real. So much work. Uh, Oh, uh, Han Ling, uh, Tian Yu, you're so right, Tian Yu. You see the, the, the uh, coming up? Uh, today was a bit calm. Today was quite calm. Uh, still Chinese oh, India, okay. la, I know. But after you see next week, like, yeah, all the tests will be coming with it. Uh. Oh, Gerald, you agree? Yeah, my, my, my WA uh, for SS is next Monday. 
Yeah, so tomorrow I'll be sharing one of the SS things with you all. Uh, can you and Honey? So, Gerald, you can see uh, the momentum is coming with you. Uh. So, please do not stop. Uh. So, this five skill will definitely help you. This five skill is like your invisible friends. Uh. At any point of time, they can tell you what to do. And this five skill will also help you in your creative writing skills. Uh. You won't find it in other um, tuition centers like that, tell, telling what skills. Because one, you tell me, uh, Gerald, you tell me you identify your five skills with here, uh, then I can help you to your, your writing skills. Just like uh Gerald, you go to gym. Okay, you uh, know I work out at home. Okay, so you know personal trainer, right? Personal trainer, you go to gym, right? You say, Hey, I want to be like uh Arnold Sostanger, I, I want to be like Rob. Then they'll ask you uh, which one you want to train, right? Okay, for example, I want five parts of my body, of course, my tricep, bicep, my stomach muscle, my chest, correct now, my thigh, correct now, people think. So how many sets do you want to do? Okay, I'm also, I, I used to do uh, trainings at G because I, I am a, also a coach for my football players in my previous school, okay? So five sets, something like that, right? Uh, five sets, which part of it? So if my striker, I will train him how to run faster in speed. And my defender, I will make him very strong, correct now, to be very fit so that, the you know, he can just, Defend and my goalkeeper must be able to dive, correct? No? Uh, so he had to eat things that he cannot be a, sorry to have a fat goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper must be tall, so he keep jumping, that kind of skills. Get it all? So you see, I'm, I want you to relate it to this. Uh, seriously, uh, three of you. Uh, later, you need to tell me the five skill while we are reading this. Uh, okay, ready? This one is a very uh, IP standard uh, essay. So I got to let you know you have to pay attention at the center multi task. Uh. So, Hanley, I know, sorry. It's not easy for this year, but don't worry. You have Uncle Raymond here to guide you, so not to fret anything. So anytime you got any problems, just let me know. Back to you, can you? Can you read the first three paragraphs? The recent. The recent straight time nexus link tuition survey of 500 parents has highlighted the extent of parent, parents' rely, uh, reliance. Reliance? Fear. Reliance? Huh? Reliance? Reliance. All right. Fear via peer pressure and spending on tuition. Once again, the evergreen debate about tuition has reginated. Hey, just now you pronounce tuition, now you pronounce tuition. You want to make her link school you, huh? Yeah, yeah, I was doing it. I'm going to go over to your house right now and put a cat in your house. Has Shiver. Okay, has we united, Miss? Uh, has we united, Miss? We and You start, start, just to blow out again, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't talk about, we don't put a, um, because the whole paragraph will, will be talking about the, a lot of the words about tuitions. Uh. So if you want to be purposely or uh, not purposely to mention the word tuition, just leave it now, okay? Okay, the right pronunciation is tuitions in the 1980. To be honest, the, the first one was just by natural instinct. I'm not sure why I just pronounced it, but okay. <laughs> okay in the okay. 1980s, tuition was necessary for only for weak students. Now, tuition has become necessary for even the brightest students. Why is our so society so obsessed with tuition? And that, too, desp despite Singapore students scoring top marks in global rankings in the program for international student assignment, PISA, assessment. Trends, in, uh, assessment, trends in international mathematics and science study, TIMS, and the other benchmarks, or perhaps because of that, so now every paragraph of Gerald, Sahaling, and Tianyu, you, you must reflect. Huh? So I start first. Huh? So the very first paragraph is using AIMA, A -A -A -I -M -S, huh? The atmosphere is, wow, create 500 parents. The interesting things are, this survey talk about the parents' reliance, peers, and pressures from, 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 from students. Wow, you got tuition, I also must have tuition. And the amount spent on tuitions. Huh? And this will be... Uh, a and I together, you realize the whole sentence for the recent straight times all the way and spending on tuitions. Uh, this is one long sentence. So this sentence, uh, first time you can see it, uh, is considered, consists of what? This whole thing. Uh, just this paragraph only. Uh, okay. It's already A, I am ready. It's already an aim ready. Once again, the evergreen debates about tuition has been like, so this it, it, it create a suspense. This suspense will bring down to the next paragraph with you, okay? So you see, uh, so trust me. So from now on, you must at least have four paragraphs. Hey, sorry, 
What am I talking? Four to five sentences for the first introductions. But this guy make it into two paragraphs, but the first sentence itself is so long. And, uh, excuse me, you are not the Street Times reporter by Sina Karapon. Okay, that is a journalist. Uh, it's not like uh, the newspaper articles written in like a different way to keep people from, to keep people, to, to allow the audience to like continue reading. We, like, All right, no? we don't need this in class. Yeah, correct, right? So your teachers is doing the same thing like me, right? Or I should do it the same thing like teachers, right? All right, so yeah. you guys are supposed to do that. Thank you, Harleen. Gerald, Ming Pai Ma, you must write like this so that you can score mark. That is the power. Rate. You must start writing like that. And you are there. Gerald, you are there a bit. It's not there. Okay, not there yet because fair enough, huh? you're just getting the taste of the success. Well, Harleen and Tenyu has been with me for a while, so they know. Anyway, they already have the foundation. So with the foundation, and last year, yes, with me for a while, so they are no. So serious, honey, I tell you, if you think after June, if you think you are, you are pretty good with your this essay writing, then don't come in with it. Spend your time with other subjects. I'm telling you seriously. Once you get like a techniques the techniques, the pedagogy, right? Huh? Right? Uh, you just put that time in other subjects. Okay? Honey, I tell you, it's not me that I want to make your money. If you really have the method done with it, then owe a hall, can you? You say, hey, Uncle Raymond, I done this essay already. Can you help me to mark? Of course, no problem. Nah. If they, sorry, can you? You know your maths are not strong, Tui right, right? So you might want to spend more time on the story. So once you have the English writing, okay, good ready. Or maybe after this six months, you say, oh, Uncle Raymond, I learned a lot. Maybe I want to stop for a while. Next year, set for that and continue. I don't care. Okay? As long as you get the ideas, you improve. Tui Ma, Tui Ma, Gerald. Right? So you improve. But I think there's one girl coming in, right? Last two weeks, there's a girl, right? Was it that girl? He actually want to join, but she told uh, my colleague that because of CCA and other things, she might join later. So yeah, let's be it, okay? Now, this is the second paragraph. In the 1980s, that is where the tuitions are, are only for weak students, like myself. I was pretty weak. In, in 1980s, I'm still a JC and the secondary students, to be honest. So my mom really has to spend her hard-earned money to put me on tuition of math. And I really screw up for math. Seriously. Okay, I improved my English, but math also got a B3, that's all. I screw up. Not good. Okay, so that is why. And also, um, uh, Gerald, I mixed with the wrong company when I was in set three. Seriously, it screwed up my life. If I can turn back the clock, uh, I will not do that. I think today now I'm already in, in Europe doing my, my master or maybe working there. Already. But that's life. Uh, Sometimes... You cannot cry over a spilled milk. Uh. Whatever you choose the past, you have to answer for it. Uh. Right. So now uh, you, you, you have to suck down for it uh, for the next nine months. Uh. So let's this set three pass over smoothly for you all. Because I can tell you, uh, the pressure will start cooking up with me. All right. So next paragraph. And that too, despite Singapore students scoring. So the last two, the this first two paragraphs, uh, the second and third paragraph tells you that Singapore people are so well to do in terms of study and education. But huh? 他们没有讲到 skill 哦，记得吗？他只是讲 education education 对吗 ，Jerry？ 啊、uh, ，shut up， just education study 哦，哇 ，very good in math and science。他们没有讲说他们的 kinesthetics 啊 ，motor skill， 还是他们没有讲说啊、uh, ，Olympic skill like 啊，保护啊 ，Joseph Schooling， 啊，他们没有讲说他们参加那个 cutlery 煮的一啊 ，most best dishes in the world， or even they climb the mountain。No 啦 ，don't have 啦 ，it's all about education and not about skills 啊，听懂啦？ Okay. May I have uh, Hanin? The next two paragraphs, please. Thank you, sir. Oh my God, I pressed the button and didn't realize that my mouse was hovering over the X key and I thought I closed my Zoom up. All right. Yeah. And that, and that too, despite Singapore students. Oh, first, scoring, first, the first, 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 first. First, the need for tuition can be directly correlated to the demands of school education. Mass education the world over has in inherent problems that accentuate the need for tuition. The quality of teachers, undue emphasis on assessment and exam orientedness, inability of education systems to individualize learning and ineffective use of available technology all contribute to key problems of mass education globally. While the Ministry of Education has over the years made significant improvements in various areas of mass education, even Minister Heng Sui Kiat will agree that his is a work in progress. Removing exams for the rural primary years, removing rankings of schools, and raising the quality of teachers are important policy steps. 
But until and unless several more fundamental changes take place in the school system, Singapore will continue to be a tuition nation. I totally agree, uh, Gerald. I think next time when you are father, uh, uh, Tian Yu and Han Ling, whether you want to pass your, your children to Uncle Raymond for teaching or not, I'm not sure whether I'm still alive or not by then. Life is so unpredictable. Huh? But whatever it is, I think, uh, yes, I agree that Singapore has become a tuition nation, a, a, a hub uh, where tuitions are. Um, I can send you a link, uh, Han Ling and Tian Yu and Gerald. This is called the Zen uh, tuitions. Uh. He, he, this guy was from JC. Uh. He started this tuition business and earned about a million of dollars. Okay, how he did it, uh, if you want to watch the video, but I find that I will not do that kind of things. Uh. Okay, you got free food, you got free this and that. Okay, free consultations, I, I love it. But that's why I'm, so you tell me, what is it uh, so good about the video? And why is it we are talking about this here? You see, sorry. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think you guys have been in uh, receiving education from Singapore, right? Uh, can you, Han Ling and Gerald. Would it change from the, those what they, uh, Han Ling has mentioned, right? Uh, the teachers' qualifications, the removing of exams, ranking of schools. Do you think they really help a lot? Honey. Can you? Oh, it's subjective, like a lot of other things. Hmm? Very, very what? Sorry? It's subjective, like a lot of other things. Okay, how about Can you? Do you think it's worth it now? Worth for tuition now? Hmm. Well, do you think this, uh, this thing will be continuing? Like like all the changes, like like no ranking, uh, no exam. Uh, do you think it's good? No no exam meaning like no like just go to school, study and then just go home, right? No, like, like one year, one exam, that's all I'm one year one exam. I guess that's like good and bad, like because like you won't like it's better to have like a like how our school like every three months we have like one mini test and then at the end of the year we have like one mass exam. That's like at least these mini tests or like your actual exams, like it just shows you like how far you, you progress if you can continue keeping up with the studies or not. Mm, I like the last part you and said. And then it's also same for like tuition, I guess. Like mm. if you can keep up with your studies, then I, I would say you don't really need it, but if you are falling behind then you I rather you go take tuition. Tuition. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Well said, well said, and how? But yeah. you also have to pay attention. Uh, if like if you go there, yes. you find not there, okay. then also no point. Uh. <coughs> yeah. Well said, yeah, discipline and uh, pay attention. How about you? thank you, uh Daniel. Gerald? Do you think it work, not Gerald? Uh can we be? I didn't hear. Do you think this uh taking away the ranking, no exam for lower um levels of um I want to call this uh, um lower primary school no exam? Um I think office. it's a bad thing. Why? Uh, because uh then by the time they reach secondary school, um it will be um too rush for them. Mm -hmm. Of course if you I think uh they should continue uh to do what they are doing now. So right um you expose the children to exams when they are young. They'll get used to exams. Um, so in the future, uh, when they grow up, um, studying for exams will not be that hard. Okay. That's all? Okay. I think I hear the three of you, your comments. But my point... Well, I, have, I actually have something to add on. You know the part where they say no more rankings, right? I think I think that part is detrimental. It was like, okay. think up. Like Singapore's education system was kind of built on the uh foundation where the better school you go into, the better like you as a person is. So taking away exams already is like bad enough. That's already one piece of comparison lacking. And then after that, it just gets worse if you remove the school rankings. And school rankings have become like a very, very important part of like uh Singaporean students like community and stuff. And like, what was it? Uh oh yeah, people's mom's discussions. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And that, that's a true fact. And people's moms are always comparing, oh, this school is this school that my son is in at oh this school my daughter in is better. Yeah, things like that. It it's just a really big thing in Singapore how good the school you went to is. I think the day when you, you sign your narrow from this world, honey, you still know that reference is still the best one. 
Yeah, that's true. Let's be honest, huh? I'm not saying your school Nanhua or Gerald, your school no good or Kenyu, your school no good. Huh? We know the top STEM school in Singapore will be Raffles, uh, RI, RGS, Hua Chong, National Junior College, uh, Catholic High, St. Nicholas, um, RV, Nanhua, Nanqiao, and uh, where else? Uh, ACS, St. Joseph, uh, all these top schools. Um, MGS, Methodist Girls School, and uh, what else? Um, Cedar Girls School. I mean, that is fat, lah. Come on. You removing the ranking is still Huan Yao Hu Huan Tan, lah. I said Huan Tan Hu Huan Yao. It's still the same, lah. I agree with you, Gerald. The thing is that if they want to change taking away this just to make things easier, I think it's no. Hey, sorry, uh, Gerald and Tenyu and Honey. This one is going to affect not just you. Uh, we are already inside to this kind of system. Your children and your grandchildren may also follow suit with this, though. So you're right, Gerald. They do not expose to the, the way of examinations. And therefore, it might cause them to be, uh, okay, law, take things easy or things maybe not. But do they replace this exam with other things like skill set? Let's read on. Huh? Okay, like look at this one. Uh, I think the survey has shown that there is an over-reliance on tuitions to address the abuses and unfairness. I MOE must we show, we show, we show. Okay, can I continue? MOE must accept that tuitions has a role in the education system step into the regulate the sectors and reduce the weightage of examination in assessing students. Not because Uncle Raymond is a tuition teacher, I must say you guys must have tuitions. Same thing, uh, Gerald, you go for, you say you do, um, you do bodybuilding and uh, training at home, right? Correct. Right? You keep yourself fit, which is awesomely good. Well done. Okay, you do your sit up. It's so that my nephew, 10 years old, can do chin up, pull out, uh, 10. Not bad, huh? 11 years old, and now not PSL, yeah, 10 eh. Well, damn good, no, seriously. Okay, I only can do 15 eh? last time when I was in set three or seven. Young people have more energy, eh? I, I can barely do three pull up. I can do two, uh, 15 pull up when I was from 13 to, no, 14 to 19 years old. Now Uncle Raymond can do zero. Okay, the whole bar will bend. Eh? Okay, the whole bar, the pull up bar will bend. So, yeah, I, 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 I can't do pull up now, seriously. So I do other things. I'll carry weights and all these things. So, uh, um, Ger Gerald, so you carry weights, you do sit down, you do burpees. So sometimes you still need to take vitamins, right? My bodybuilder, uh, you see, uh, they can go and pump their body every day, uh, eight hours, but they still have to supplement their, their, their vitamins, their things, right? So duration is like the supplements uh, to enforce, enhance, and to ensure that the muscle is so nice that they can go to the bodybuilding competitions. Same thing. The tuition is the enforcement to ensure that whatever you miss up during lessons, they enhance that kind of learnings, they enforce you to study better, and they ensure that you pass your exam with flying colors. Then you say, Uncle Raymond, not true, eh? but some of my friends, they don't even have tuition, uh, and they don't pay attention in class, oh, and they score better than me. Bloody hell, emotional damage. How come they are better than me? So very simple. Gerald, they have a set of pedagogies of ethos or their way of timetable. They don't want to tell you. They have a secret formula. They may not want to tell you. Fair? That's life. Seriously. They might not pay attention, but at home, they stress like hell. They study like hell. You never know. Or maybe they are born to be so intelligent. The moment they do this, they are the photo, uh, photo memory. Like, like you can memorize things like that so fast. Okay? So let's read on. Huh? Second, uh, back to you. Uh, why you see why educations and tuitions coming together and why that taking away the ranking as well as the examinations, as well as the quality of... I think the quality of teachers is very important, seriously. The one I do agree, uh, in Finland, most of the teachers are all master degree. That's why they will bring up the things. Seriously, what? It's just like, if you want to share Yong Chun Chen, you can to even if it's better, you can the 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 person who founded the Ye Wun Yong Chun Chen, the founder will be better. That's life. That's that. That is the true fact. But unfortunately, as time evolves, we can't continue to progress that. So how? So we have to keep increasing our own methodologies. Uh, right now, uh, uh methods and methodologies. That's what we are talking about. This we have a lot of things to share. What's the difference between methodologies and methods in education and skills? In this topic here about changes in the education assess of students, is it got to do with the methods that the teachers are using or different sets of methodologies that use different methods 
to enhance people to learn, especially the student like yourself. Back to you, uh, who's turn to read? Uh, Gerald, is it? Oh, um, with both parents working, second, even second. Well, second. Oh, second, the paper chase leads to an endless spiral of competition in society. The traditional belief that only a good education can lead to a prosperous life and the alarming pace at which wealth gaps are widening has put undue pressure on families to get ahead. With both parents working, even well-educated parents outsource the tutoring and mentoring support of their children to private tutors. Wealth gaps have also led to elitism where richer children have access to super tutors who really can help average students become top students. That has caused much angst and anxiety in society. Well, angst and anxiety in society, that is true. Uh. And now, you know, right, China recently stopped tuition. Uh, totally. Uh, okay, they, they really, even in Malaysia, I heard, I uh, tell you, they even have their past 10 year series that confirm will come out in exam. That's why I'm not sure how true it is. Uh that people are pumping a lot of money, uh, the parents, uh, to ensure that their tuitions uh, can kind of, the three E, uh, enforce, enhance, and ensure that their children can pass with flying colors and top in the top notch of the school and then get go into the top school. Is it necessary? Uh? Gerald, is it necessary? No? Okay. Uh, Tenyu, is it necessary? Mm, I don't think so. No, okay. How about Hanling? No, as well. No, uh, then why why you come for tuition? <laughs> it's <laughs> then I used to uh, sell uh, your food. Uh, sell, mm, oh, you okay, that's not like, understand. Unless you tell me my mother forced me to come for tuition, no choice. Supplementation is different from like force feeding, yes. I, you, know, you know how you put fertilizer to make a plant grow faster? Yeah, the plant is already growing at quite a decent rate. You just put fertilizer for it to grow faster. But sometimes you need a force effect to work. So this is not about just force effect. This is about getting people, the richest families, uh, can engage the best tutor to teach their children. And this is illicit, right? Get the best of it. Nothing wrong, eh? Honey, nothing wrong, eh? Seriously. If you have, if let's say Uncle Raymond now got a, a, a job, let's say I'm, I, I did very well, I start a very uh, multinational company. Then suddenly I need a marketing director. Of course, Hanling will say, hey, Uncle Raymond, my son just graduated from university. You know, can, can my son join your company? Then uh, Tenyu also bring his son in. Then Jerry also bring his son in. I only got one position. Then. How? Uh, who should I give to? Based on relationship uh, or based on uh, your son, the way their presentation are, or based on what their, their result are, or based on what things. You get I me? Mean? So there is really a, a differentiation, uh, seriously. Uh, it's not nothing wrong to have tuition or not to have tuition. It's just the same thing, uh, Gerald and uh, Tenio Hardy. It's not about tuition. It's let's say something like, okay, you know, you know behind me, uh, this is my favorite car, Lamborghini. Uh. Okay, why people buy Lamborghini when you just need a normal car? Right? You know, it's on the road now, you can see a car. Why people still develop and manufacturing and invented Lamborghini? There must be a reason, right? To sell to the rich. There must be a reason to, to differentiate from the rich and poor. Hey, hello, but excuse me, there are thousands and millions of people who have to buy Lamborghini. It's Chen Jinping. But sorry, doesn't mean that millions of people there are out of jobs famine, starving, I cannot continue to produce luxurious goods. I still need to make money, but whether when they make money, do they give back to society? That's another thing. Get it? That is another thing. I got one student very cute of how they say, uh, uneducated people will always go to steal people things. Whereas the educated people will never steal things. They will learn how to do good things. Hello, Gerald, can you how they possible, man? So are you saying all the uneducated people just yong yin zhou chuo si ting ah? Yong yin is tou dong si ah? That's ridiculous, right? It doesn't make sense, right? Also, educated people will not steal thing ah. Nonsense, right? And you know a lot of Bitcoin, a lot of those uh, scammer, right? Are all from educated people, true, not? Because they create the programs, they create this and that. Tell you, right? 
So how can you say educated people will never commit crime? Only the uneducated people will commit crime because they want to survive. So it's nothing wrong with children. So why I'm asking, telling you this? Because you're going to write argumentative and expository, a narrative, descriptive, and uh, also um, hybrid essay. So you need to have, your mind must be, cannot say no. You must sometimes say yes, just like uh, Gerald. You know, I yesterday I was uh, arguing with my set one, uh, set two students. Uh. They say, uh, Uncle Raymond, you say all oh, you, you, you like girls to do this job. How come you don't allow girls to run the country? I say, uh, I don't mind a woman uh, to run a family, to run a com company. Uh. Okay, but I will never support a woman who run a country. They say you are very sexist and biased. Eh? So, Gerald, so I think I support women to do a lot of things, but that's the only thing I don't support. That is, I do not support a woman to run the country. Reason is Wu Zetian is one of the example. Cleopatra from Egypt is another example. Cixi Taihu from China is another example. And the last empress of Korea is another example. So you say, no, Uncle Raymond, what about those, those guys also die, you know, uh, also um, king, they also create a lot of problems. So Gerald, I, I told them, that's my perception. I'm a history teacher, I know. But I, I, I choose not to support that. So Gerald, I just now you say, no, I disagree. It's just I choose not to support that. Maybe I want to and tell you. So you must always double edged sword and two sides of the coin. Please, uh, don't be so one-sided. You die there have to find one against and four. one. Okay, this is why argumentative essay is very important for all of you. You're no more talking about narrative. I mean, yes, la, in your own level, you've got narrative, descriptive, and argumentative. You can choose to write na uh, narrative, descriptive. Uh, Gerald, how long can you write all this kind of essay? You know, in university, you, you're not going to write narrative and descriptive. Uh, you know, right? You're going to do argumentative and expository as correct now. There's no way, uh, uh, even you're talking about, no, no, Uncle Raymond, I'm going to do arts and social science English. English also have to argue. What is the difference between Shakespeare literatures and the modern literatures? Huh? Uh, so you see, I have to argue. And I love Shakespeare, but the only books I don't like is Romeo and Juliet. See? All right. So I hope you don't have one side. So next time I ask you questions, Uncle Raymond, uh, for the for, I will say this. For the against, I will believe this. So always, for now on, give two sides of the view. So once you have this, uh, seriously, Gerald, uh, Handling, and then you, when you do your argumentative expository essay, you can have a balanced view. Gerald, very simple. Uh, you look very blur uh, and Handling, and then you. So now your son at night want to eat ice cream, okay? Ice cream, huh? Your mom said sure, you've asked that question at least six times, and okay. no, I'm siding with my mom. Yeah, so Gerald, your mom said cannot. Boy, boy, Taiwan, that's the ice cream. They sell next day, wake so. But your wife is a doctor, lah. He said, Never mind, what? ice cream is good lah, because it's very tea. And then say, How? Who are you listening to? If you listen to your mom, your wife will ask you to sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> if you listen to your wife, your mom say, You don't want to hear your mom, you don't want to hear your mom, you don't want Oh, uh, Gerald will be, oh, oh, I think I cannot don't get into this conversation with both of you. <laughs> Can I move aside and your scissors, paper, stone? No, right? Correct. So, Gerald, you have to be balanced. I don't need to ask Honey and Ken you. They already know the answer. They'll be arguing with Donkey. donkey. Wait, well, what is like, the actual answer? That I actually, actually need to know. Okay, uh, Honey, why don't you say your answer? How are you going to solve this problem? Mom. <laughs> Mom. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. My initial answer, like at the very beginning when he first asked me the question was everyone shares ice cream. Everyone shares but, ice cream. Okay. Is that the, but then like okay, let's be honest. But your mom said the one I don't want to have ice cream. Okay. Would you would you would you rather your mom disown you? No, exactly. Yes. So Will you send Who gave birth to you? So, uh, Gerald, Han Ling wife is very understanding, so you will give in. But some of their wife will be very stubborn. You say, why? I really give your son it so many times, nothing happened. But it just happened that your, your mom, that time, give you that time when you're young, you got asthma. You cannot eat ice cream at night. So you have to look into biological reasons, uh, science reasons, medical reasons, and other reasons. Then you use this platform not to argue with your mom or your wife, uh, 
to reason it. Okay, let's move on. Huh? So there's no right or wrong answer, seriously. This one is the most toughest. Seriously, if you can solve this problem with the ice cream between the mom and your wife, one, I tell you, or even your chocolate at night. If you can do this kind of balance, you are you're awesome. So, uh, Gerald, this type of question your teacher will never ask you. Right? Correct. Right? So, you see, that's why I'm ask, teaching you uh, whatever you're learning from here, you have to use real life example. Then you can tell oh, why do I have to argumentative essay? Why do I have to do exploratory essay? Why do I have to use this uh, way of talking? Right? Then you can tell because in the real world, uh, Gerald, a lawyer will start to use the argumentative points of view to make sure his client or her client will not go to jail. Back to you, may I have uh, tell you this ST survey? The ST survey findings also imply although that although more money is spent on tuition, many feel that tuition has been in ineffective. Tuition can be effective if it's delivered by a good tutor who is not motivated purely by money, but also by his responsibility to de deliver imp improvements for his tutee. Tuition is increasingly per per perceived to be ineffective because there is no barrier to entry and more unqualified and incapable people who want to moonlight for easy extra money are becoming tutors. MOE does not regulate the industry and NIA can become a tutor or set out a tuition center. Stop. Huh? The last sentence itself, set out a tuition center, now is being regulated by MOE to make sure that you have qualification and experience and the passions and things like that and go through a, a series of check and, and, and check and bounce to make sure that these tutors are qualified. But then again, uh, tell you, let's be honest, uh, uh, Gerald and Hanley. If this tutor is like, like no, just to put three more, it's just to because they get easy money and come and teach you. Come on, Gerald. They're not stupid, right? If you ask the question uh, and he can't answer you one time, maybe fair. Uh, then the second time, uh, Gerald, that day last week, I asked you this question. Uh, whoa, 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 you don't even need a line, son, to, to be a tutor. No, that no, 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 no. Only now, the last time, uh, my dear, property agent no need license. Eh. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah, property uh, agent no need to have a <laughs> I'm gonna sell you my backyard for 7.2 million. Now sign here. You know why though? Because of some black sheep uh, uh, hunting. They, they, those are uh, Tom, Dick and Harry also can come and sell property and, and cook and make the industry so so polluted and so ugly and so nasty uh, that the client has, you know, some people have to lose their houses and go to lawsuits. So now, all the property agents have to go for their exam, which is good. So tutor, right, Gerald, you see, seriously, right, if the tutor come and tell you first, we don't know, second, we don't know, I think the rest of it, mommy, I don't want this tutor really. True now, because he can't help me to solve the problem. He just come here and help me to do, uh, sit there and do problem sum. Like, okay, uh, Gerald, do the problem sum and show me. Then, huh? So we are not stupid, right? Correct, I'll tell you, right? I mean, I'm using the math example, same thing as English, right? all right, or even creative. So how do I go to the, the extent to make sure that you are right, you understand? You need to analyze as a teacher, you must say, hey, Gerald, besides every time uh, if you come in, I, I keep saying your handwriting, handwriting, uh, you're so sien what? Let's be honest. I know already, Uncle Rima, I know my handwriting is not so good as what you expected, but I really had it in my homework. And why the whole lesson is talk about handwriting? I, hello, I want to know how I improve my ideas, my constructive ideas, how do I improve this kind of paragraph? How do I do it instead of rephrasing? Correct now, uh, this is what you want. Seriously, right? I do have students from primary four all the way to set four. You know why? Because I don't teach primary one and two. Okay, the, 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 the longest I have is primary three of two set four. Okay, one and two, unless my son happened to be primary one, uh, then I'll teach primary one. Then when my son progressive go out, then I will stop the primary one too. So when people call, do you teach primary one and two? No. Only my nephew and nieces and my son, my children. So I don't teach primary one, two, and three, to be honest. The lowest is primary four to set five, or even to I am um, JC1. Last time I do that, but now I don't want to. Okay. So that tuition is like perceiving an ineffective. If it's ineffective, uh, how come uh, it's called tuition nations? How come uh, the tuition business is booming? 
How come there's so many students who walk in the shopping mall, huh, Gerald? You see, wow, all the faces are A1, A1 for F9 to A1 for F9 to A1. And this is not bullshit one, eh? this is real people. Eh? True, how hard they can tell you, right? Just like yourself last year, okay, you have improved. But then again, tuition that I told you is like a vitamin pill, it's supplement pills. Hey, Gerald, if you take too many supplement pills, you overkill you so time. True, now, just like too many tuition now, you also ah, you can go sell. Eh? My daughter PSLE uh, got three mass tuition. Eh? That's serious. Eh? And end up she did not score very well. I think got a C, but thank God she passed. Okay, thank God. I asked her, you sure now? Three mass tuition. And now uh, Han Ling, my younger sons, uh, I was thinking to have three Chinese tuition. One of my ex my, uh, student mom in China and the other one here, and then might be sending him for Su Fa or even speak and drama to improve her, his PSLE next year. Is it necessary? Can you? <laughs> you think it's necessary for me to do all these things? Yes, it is. Seriously. Always take this, uh, Gerald, can you, and Harley. Always take this as a young plant. A young plant, in order to stand upright and straight all the way to get sunlight, you must have a stick to hold it and force him to be straightened up his back, right? And move upwards, not to move bend. So there is some type of force effect. Can you? If your parents don't force you in premise one to six, you think today you are so good. You might be become a bad boy, huh? Sorry, Duma. Uh, you I honestly, you will no, if your parents don't enforce to make you learn well, uh, today you will become a bad boy, do you? You realize some of your friends, your classmates, or whoever, uh, why they turn back? Because their parents do not have time to spend with them. Or maybe they have parents that are over strict, too strict already, or not strict, or even border, or even come from broken family. Uh, that's why. Okay? So take note. Uh, not tuition. This is talking about tuition is increasingly perceived as ineffective. Is it really true? If it's true, then just like China, they will stop tuition 100%. Nobody can do with tuition. You don't believe you ask. Honey, you know, right? Can you know? Gerald, you know about that? China cannot have tuition. Only the international student have tuition because I'm teaching the international student. Only the international student are allowed to have tuition because that is beyond the boundary. So a lot of parents are honey. They put their children in international school. And then they have tuitions with other people. And the way they speak very well, no, seriously, from a first student. Hello, Uncle Raymond. Um, I will read this. The ST survey finding always was slang, no? Cool, right? Cool. Better than your slang, huh, Link? Okay. The real American slang, okay, from a four, no. Wow, you see? No need to be so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, guys, talk today. I tell you, you say, oh my goodness. You cannot take it. The whole lesson is slang, too. A very American slang. Yes. Um, do you know that um, I'd like to tell you, Uncle Raymond, that recently this year in Shuzhou's it's not very good because everyone's breathing on the mask. Whoa. They talk like that. No? It's not, I, I can't remember, I tell you how today uh, <laughs> they don't talk like this. Okay, so do you see why they are really so good? Why do they have diffusions? There must be a reason. Ah. <coughs> Next one, may I have Gerald? Wait up, uh, wait up, uh, wait uh, anymore? I think I see for a lot. Uh. Oh yeah, that's all. Wait up, uh, give me a minute and move on. Okay. Next uh, just I was 10 you reading, right? Okay, uh back to you, Gerald. The next two paragraphs. Parents, especially mothers, are often at their wits and when they try to source for a good tutor for their child. Well, there are a reasonable number of very committed and dedicated private tutors around. It is hard to identify them. Many mothers call a tuition agency, which then assigns a home tutor for her child who needs, say, math tuition. Once the tutor's often the, tutor? often the tutor's credentials, if given, cannot be verified. The mother accepts whoever is assigned. After some months when the media results are out, she finds that her child has not improved at all. She discusses the matter with the tutor and the tutor may ask her to wait till the final exam result. So is it good or not? Do you think is it true that the tutors are not doing the job? It's not that by the time the mid-year result, then you tell the oh, Mrs. Tan, Mrs. Lee, Mrs. Wong, Mrs. whatever, 
or your son, your daughter is not doing, not doing well. Not to wait until the result come out, then you tell the parents. That will be too late. Agree not? In fact, it's a every lesson if possible, or don't say every lesson, maybe uh, every month. That's why I told you, right, I'm coming come, I'm going to come out the student perform, performance appraisal to share with you all guys, okay? So this is not just to get the star and then get the rewards. That's, that's second to that. But the first most important thing is that how, like, to verify, you know, there's a uh, good tutors are hard to find, not true. Huh? It's a words of mouth. If a good tutor hard to find, it's not because they cannot find, no, hardly. The tutors, the, the, the timetable are fully booked with you. You get me? Fully booked. So if you want to come in, you have to on the waiting list with you. Unless someone get up, then you come in. That's like a good doctors, you have to be wait. Right? Three months, Gerald. That's like, you know, you want to eat good food, right? you have to queue up for the food until your turn, right? Three day. Then by the time you pipe oh, my one, you're, 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 you're going to scream and things like that. So it's not that hard to find. It's just that the good ones has been taken out full force already. Or we compact to that. So how about tutor credential? Yeah, this tutor can be have all the A1s in their subject. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, Gerald and Ken Yue Hanley, can this tutor teach? I mean, seriously, uh, Gerald and Tian Yu and Hanley, this is recording. Uh. No need to answer me. Uh. No need to answer me. Do you think in your school, I believe in your school, they no need to knock your head or turn your, your thumbs up. Just keep quiet. Uh. Don't show me any emotional feelings. Uh. Do you think in your school, sure got scholars, right? Uh, from, from scholars and from teachers from overseas or teachers who do very well. Do you think all the teachers in school can teach? Them? I don't think so, to be honest. Some teachers, after three years, they say, oh, my contract finished, I'm going to FO from here. I don't want to teach you this bunch of rascal, this bunch of these naughty people, parasite or whatever they call it. I hate they use this kind of word. They just come in for the three years because they can't find job outside, out there. And they just want to take the three years because they need to pay their loans, their study loans. And then they use this stepping stone. Oh, I was a teacher in MOE, so now I can get a better job in the banking, whatever it is. A lot, lah. Seriously, even in my school also, my previous school. Then that is not, they really spoil the thing. It's just like, in, it can be in the army, in the police, in as civil defense, or even in hospital. No, that's wrong. No. But no choice because they need to EKE a living. Right now, Gerald, EKE to eat a living. They have to take a job rather than stay at home and do nothing. You think what? They want to be influencers and YouTubers? Not possible. They cannot be a gamers. They need to find a job to pay for their bills and loans and expenses. So to be honest, not all teachers in the school can teach, but there are a lot of teachers in your school can really teach. Those who are staying longest, they do have the passions. Not because they say- like, yeah, yeah, My physics job, right? He hasn't even told us to activate the physics textbook yet. Okay, because you have to understand that, uh, during my generations, uh, we, we, we have to depend on textbook because we do not have the IT. You know what I mean? No, don't have Google and information. But with these advanced technologies of the 21st century, okay, textbook is going to be secondary. And in fact, maybe next time your children uh, will not have textbook anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, everything will be on the tablet. Seriously. And they don't even know how to flip a textbook. That's very sad. Uh. Just like they don't know, even know what is a Walkman or CD or even a, a, a time drive or things like that, or even a property disk. Things evolve very fast, honey. I'm so sorry. There's always a good and bad things. So like the physics that is not activated, that doesn't mean he's not teaching, right? He can teach you in things in real life, in things for others. So I don't know. Okay, I don't know how he's going to teach you, but definitely if one month he's not teaching you, he's going to go to the principal office and have tea with him maybe. Ah, it's like that. Okay, so that's why it plays a part of that. So trust me, yeah. So I'm very sad uh, like this, like these two paragraphs. So uh Gerald, continue the last paragraph if the result. If the results do not improve, the mother will fire the tutor and hire another one. The tutor in question, however, gets away with no blemish on his record. Yeah, yeah. This this is something that is true. Some they'll say, ah, you don't get this tutor for Uncle Raymond, like, he sucks, uh, no good. Lah. Yeah, sometimes maybe you get hey, this tutor good now. I know lah. Lousy, like my son don't improve, my daughter also never improve. So does it make sense? Is it fair to the tutor? Maybe the tutor are too strict. Maybe the tutor are too whatever it is, but the, the children can, do not have the chemistry with the tutor. True not. That's why we got white husband and white divorce after marrying for 10, 20 years. 
Is it because of the sex life? Because of the uh, uh, extra materials outside uh, yang, yang Xiao San, or because they are gamblers or, or drunkards or, or whatever? There are many reasons. Firing the tutors is not the main things. Sorry, uh, Gerald. Honestly, ask me uh, from your bottom of your heart. Do your parents sit down with you and discuss about your education every day? No way, right? Back to you, Gerald. Uh, not every day. So what? Once a year? Once a month? Once a week? Uh, after the results come out, I think. No, that's too late, my dear. Honey, how about you? Sorry. How about you? Oh, my, I, 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 I don't know. My question is like, I asked Gerald, how often your mommy, daddy, are, honey, sit down with you? Honey, how is your study? Uh, how are you doing in school? Once a year? Yeah. Every day? Dinner time. Dinner every day. time. Every day. Yeah. No Essentially. Wonder, no wonder you're so bloody talkative. No? It is nothing related. I, I just talk a lot. No, it, no. It's not really related. Just keep quiet. You are doing a good job. That is supposed to be the way. So please bring down this habit uh, to your children next time, even to your grandchildren. How about you, Tianyu? Do your parents sit down every day and, hey, Tianyu, how's your mind? How's your mind? Weekly, but I feel like it, it's like kind of every day. But it really depends. Because sometimes my parents might be busy, so they no time. But most likely, it's like, also some, somewhere similar to HL. Uh. Like every, every time during dinner, we all just like talk about our awesome. future life and stuff. Gerald, Gerald, it's up to you now uh, to change the culture with your children and to change the culture with you and your parents. Gerald, I know this is creative, I think. Okay? So if you want to improve your quality of life, goods, uh, you have to break the one thing, uh, Gerald, about Asian parents uh, is too egoistic to sit down and talk. Seriously. Trust me. The moment your parents talk to you and things like that, you bring out the different essence. Seriously. Trust me. I, I'm, I'm a typical father who will just sit down in house and you know how I talk to my children? Hey, hi, bro. How is it? Hey, dude. What's up, man? How's anyone F around with you in school? I will talk like that. I'm just like a friend. Okay? And then just to open up. So, yeah, daddy, today I fell down this and that. Uh, today, my, my friends uh, share with me this uh, group box and things like that. Why? Why is very important. So, once you open up your, your these things, uh, you makes you feel better. You will be able to understand your life better. And also when you like talk to your parents, uh, uh, Tenyu and Hanu, you feel good about it, right? right? You feel refreshed, right? You can feel someone to talk to. Uh, Tenyu, but if you say your parents got no time, uh, sorry, uh, it's just an excuse. To me, it's no time is an excuse. So, well, I, I think I messed up. I, I, I'm messed up saying that. Like my parents usually, like we always have dinner at the same time. So it, it's like, it's basically like never that they will have no time for like, talking to me. Uh. No. Like it's either they will talk to me during like uh dinner or like after dinner. I mean after that, like before we sleep, I will go to their room. After wow. that, we'll just talk a while and then and after that, we'll just go sleep. Oh. You are the only child, right? Yeah, only child. Ah, uh, well done. Mean, meaning that you really open up your hearts to talk to them. You see, uh, uh, I'm not saying your parents got no time. Uh, I'm just saying that if a parents say that uh, or you saying that you got no time, it's just a lame excuse. Mm. If you want to find time, there will always be time to talk to somebody. Agree or honey? It's just whether you want to do it or not. Hey, if you say no time, there's a few reasons. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk So please spend time uh, as and when to talk to mommy, daddy and say, Hi mom, dad. Uh, I just want to have something to say to you. Um, yeah. Just have a nice day. Um, all the best to you to, to uh, for your work tomorrow, things like that. Okay? So, yes. I, I just say that you know, because um, a lot of the parents just always leave it to the tutor, leave it to school, 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 or even last minute when you end of it, then well, wait for until result and things like that, that will be too late. So, anything sometimes is to improve the quality with your family's member. That's very important. Okay, uh, last paragraph. Hey, uh, Gerald, can you help me to finish up? Such bad, such bad practices by some in the industry not only her parents but color perceptions of tutors and education centers that are committed to providing good service. These problems will not go away unless there is government intervention to regulate an industry and raise standards. Very hard. I think maybe uh, 
in 10 years time when Andrew Raymond's really semi-retired or retired with you, when there are so many tuition centers and tutors who spoil the market, who become black sheep, then the government will step in, just like chewing gum. Then people will know that, oh, okay, you guys must have license, you guys must this and that. But because tutors sometimes help those uh, JC students who want to earn some pocket money by teaching the primary school students, or even the university, undergraduate university students who want to teach secondary students of their maths because they are good in math. So this is, I don't know how to say it. Uh, this is really a chicken and egg issue, okay? Um, the last thing I want to say is that- Oh, actually, uh, speaking of the chicken and egg issue, which do you think came first, the chicken or the egg? I say if you, if you talk about religions, uh, okay? If you talk about religions, seriously, it will be definitely, it start from the embryo. Everything starts from the minute things. If you talk about religions, okay, religions, uh, which is everything come from, just like Adam and Eve, right? All right, now remember the Adam and Eve, where they eat the apple yeah, yeah. and they are naked. So, how, what, what create Adam and Eve? God created Adam and Eve, uh, it must be coming something, then become a dark man, uh, thing. I like to say, God, mm, okay, now this is Adam, this is Eve. But in, in, in religious point of view, I feel that it starts on the embryo, from a little micro things that start to build into a fascinating things like that. But if you talk about science, you will still talk about some bacteria also start with micro and then start to form the fish, then slowly become a, a, a animals and then come to it. So if you ask me, it's always the egg comes first before the chicken. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's very simple. Let's let's put it this way. You know, some egg can be fertile or non-fertile, right, Pima? Because yes, you, yes. you have to put that incubator. So, but you see, uh, if I have chicken, the chicken is always Then, if you ask the chicken, if the chicken is not born, then it is not born. The animal is not born, like the doo doo birds, correct? No? So now they want to, to remember you watch the Jurassic Park, right? They always take the embryo, the, uh, the, the, the DNA of the animals, right? Correct? No? So I will always, uh, I have ever think of this question, that's why I can answer you immediately. So it's always, to me, it's the egg first rather than the chicken first. I mean, you can beg to defer and say, no, Uncle Raymond. Uh, that's why I say, under religions and scientifics, this is what I feel. Like. But there are other people who are free thinker. No, I think it's chicken first. Because without the life forms, uh, how the hell you get eggs? Without the chicken having sex, how you can have, have eggs? Huh? Yeah, it's nothing wrong. Right? It, it doesn't really make sense because like, even through a uh, reduction of, uh, um, of like animals that reproduce through eggs, the, the embryo actually still forms within the mother's body before the shell forms. It's just like, honey, how you come to this world? How yeah. This world? It's, it starts from the, the sperm and the egg, then become mm. Yuma. Okay, let's yes. just, okay yeah. I, I now declare Mr. and Mrs. Chen, boom, honey, your son. Huh? You mean the bird fly? Ah? Well, I thought some, like a crane, you know, the birds carry the baby one. Then this stock, right, carry the baby, remember? Then the baby, the, the stock deliver the baby to the doorstep. You know what I mean? That's one. You know the those bird who carry the baby and then fly. That one is a myth, lah. Come on, okay. All right. So next thing is, are you ready? Uh Gerald, are ready? Okay. Now this question here: the writer in the article feels that there will be less demand for tuitions if changes are made to the education system. To what extent do you subscribe to the writer's view? Whoa. Whoa. Hey guys, Gerald, you want to go JC? Huh? Honey, you also want to go JC? Huh? Can you also want to go JC? Huh? Uh, entertain this JC question. Huh? Actually, JC, yeah. I mean, obviously, JC is better, but from what I heard from like my cousins who like who both graduate from uni or like is they are studying in uni, they say like JC is only like if you do not know what you want to do in the future, lah. Well, nonsense. Poly... nonsense, nonsense. No, I I, I think that. what they meant was uh, poly gives you a more definitive role yeah, in like poly the means like society. yeah. I think you like, think the like, course that you specify yeah. in. No, 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 no. Yeah. Whereas I think more specific. Like... But at the same time, if you if you graduate from engineering, you still can do other subjects in uni. Okay. In fact, JC or Poly, your path is still uni. Okay. Don't stop. 
<coughs> let me repeat whether JC or poly, your path is still uni. Unless you say, sorry, not you all three, uh, or some student tell me this. No? Seriously, I tell you, my parents cannot afford me to go university. Then ask for MP for help, law. ask for scholarship, law. okay? So ask for some band no or whatever sponsorship. There will people come and sponsorship you if you are doing study, trust me. Singapore will definitely will help students who are willing to further their educations. That is for sure, okay? Leave no student behind because we need brains like all of you here. Why so funny? Why are you laughing at me? Ah? You must be look, looking at other things, right? Okay, let's go. So to what extent do you subscribe to the writer view? So for me, I start first on Gerald. I feel that the articles tells me that in order to change the education system, first of all, we must need the bug to know why this education system needs the emphasis of tuitions. Is it because it's too stressful for the kids because the timetable are too limited. They cannot absorb because of the 45 minutes during the lessons. Is it because the teacher fly through the lessons and therefore uh, they have, cannot not as sponge to absorb the lesson so fast. Therefore, they have to um, get someone to help them to and, and ensure they can catch up the lessons. Or is it because there are less demand for changes if the system will be, let's say, Instead of until two o'clock, can we have a full day session, Gerald? That means from seven to five. So when you have seven to five, uh, Gerald, I think by the time you come home, you don't need tuition with you. You're dead, dead tired with you. True now. Can you imagine that uh, Monday to Friday you study from seven? Uh, think how uh, seven thirty? Uh, no, no, no. After your Malikita, eight o'clock, uh, okay? Eight o'clock, you sing a uh, Malikita, and we, the citizens of Singapore, then you go back to classroom from eight to five, uh, okay? Five, uh, purely study, uh, that means 8 to 12, 8 to 2, uh, hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. 8 to 12 is study. Then what, 12 to 1 o'clock uh, is makan time. Uh. Then after that, 1 to 2, you have a power net for one hour, okay? All right, and then 2 to 5 o'clock is where your remedial class, your teacher class. Okay, Gerald, you are not strong in your math. Go to math tuition now in classroom 3. Uh, Han Ling, you are not good in your Chinese. Please go to this class. Uh, tell you. You are not good in your AMAX school, please go to this class. Are that is both helpful and incredibly accurate. Okay, thank you. So tuition uh, will be, become the keywords in school already. They will not call tuition, they will call free consultation. And you still have to pay the extra money because you have to pay the teachers, ma. Right? Correct now. The teacher has to stay back, ma. You have to be fair to them, right? And then, uh, Gerald, then your CCA is on every Saturday uh, from 8 to 12. Then by the time you come back, you're tired already, huh, Gerald? Huh? Then Sunday, you have to prepare for your exam. When got time for tuition? Then you can have this system. Huh? Agree, huh, Gerald? Okay, so this is my thoughts. Huh? So I want you to get five minutes right now on the draft and tell me what is your this one and also your five skill. Everything by today, I need it by today. Okay? Five skill and uh, this one. In fire. Okay, let's go. Okay, Chad, I got like a few questions. One is, what do you mean by you? What to what extent do you subscribe to the writer's view? Is it? I I already try to ask me like, how to how much like extent that I support the view? Yes, or yes, yes, yes. Did you subscribe, huh? Instead of subscribe to us. <laughs> okay, subscribe uh, to my channel anymore? and you will enter my free Bobux giveaway. <laughs> Any more question? Wait, can, can you move up? Oh, actually, no. I, I, I need to see the passage again and rethink about it. So you, you take a picture of this one now because I'm going to toilet for one hour. Okay? Can? Uh, okay, okay. Can okay. I screenshot now? Okay, I'm just going to type the question. Only the time I send to you now. I uh, just no, send it to the chat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can. Yeah. Then chat, can you move up to the yeah? Okay, can. Thank you. No problem. I make it smaller so you can read more, lah. Uh. 
Wait, the chat say how how long are we meant to write? I don't think he did. Oh. I guess okay. Joe comes up, we got to ask Joe. All right, all right. Just play machines, can't put destroy them because I silver. Lol, cringe. No mythic. Wait, are, are you mythic yet? Yeah, oh, yeah nice. I got it. I got it. And I already played two matches. I'm on both. Five, three, three loss. Yeah. Damn. I, I got two wins. That's it. Oh, my higher yeah. looks are no good. I managed to 11 on 7 and still no MVP. Cringe. Uh, Y'all can discuss among yourselves. I go restroom for a while. I oh, like, wait, wait, can wait, you give us the instructions chill. again? Chill. Can you give us the instructions again? Like, full thing. Because huh? we didn't catch, like, we didn't catch a lot of important details. Can you give us the instructions again? Okay, this question here is actually supposed to write an essay. No? It's really very long, but I... Essay? Just, yes. Or I screenshot. Uh, uh, it's about 200 words for this <laughs> reflection, seriously. It's not just a few sentences out, Gerald. Okay, but for your for a start, uh, you just tell me what you feel like. Just like I tell you, right? Uh, the full day's class instead, then you no need to have tuition ready. Lah. From 8 to 5, you're going to tell me, you're going to tuition at night. Uh. Yeah, I tell you, you're going to cry, man. Because after at night, you're going to prepare your homework, your makan, you go and sleep ready. And then next day, uh, something like that. That's what I feel. So you, you can say that uh, less demanding. Can you come up with some idea? Can we, we talk about this one? Uh? We don't talk about the five skills. Uh? The five skills, I really need you to tell me. Uh, okay, seriously. So you need to tell me next month. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll leave it for the next lesson. Uh? So please, if you can, do it before the next lesson submit to me. But now, I, I this is a homework. So you must tell me how are you going to tackle this question. Right, one more time. The writer in the article feels that there will be less demand for tuition if changes are made to the education system. To what to what extent do you agree to the writer's view? Just put it simple. Huh? So, so, so uh, how, how long do you write? Like one paragraph? Two paragraph? No need, no need. You just give me point form will do, my dear. Point form? I just want to see whether you are on track what, what you are talking about. It's no point, uh, my, can you? You write one paragraph say, oh, can you, sorry. You say the don't feel new talk to you, not, not links. They are... Oh, so just give me a point from get it? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I go to toilet. Huh? Okay, Gerald, okay, Gerald. Gerald, okay. Okay. Huh? I can't send the photo here. No, I was gonna send you guys the photo. I mean, you can just send me. I don't even have my phone with me right now. Oh. I'm too lazy to get up and get it. I mean, you can just text us the answer. Bruh, just do it. Yeah, for you. I can't even find my screenshot. <laughs> Bruh, okay, I found it, I found it. The demand of duration. The, the one. Tuition. Wait, HR, is tuition the, like the British way of saying it or what? No, uh, tuition is the correct way of saying it because uh, there's, uh, there's actually three syllables in the word tuition. We're just saying tuition because one person misspells it. As you yeah, well, like. Yeah. Tuition. So, Wednesday. so like. When, when, Wednesday. <laughs> 
bruh. There's one more word. That one word I forgot. The one word where Eva just says it wrong and it's funny. Which one? I, I forgot. I'm trying to think. It's like that one SG word where we all just say it wrong and it's just funny now. Yeah. British. 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 Cup of water. Boa. Would you like... Oh, like a boa. Would you like a bottle of water? Wait, hey, can also send me the answers because I'm, I'm as confused as you are. Well, uh, so uh, the question is, wait, uh, and, I... and Ch- 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 they send the question, but like, I- I'm not sure how we meant to write it. Like, in point form, I get it, but like, I don't like what we meant to write. Do we so just like, say... uh, to what extent? So, like, for example, if you agree with the statement a lot, you're right. I, ag- I, ag- I subscribe to the writer's views to a Wait, how, how do I piece this? Give me a second, give me a second. My, my English kind of failing as well. Mm-hmm. And you have to understand, I was writing statements for chemistry non-stop for like the past 40... No, not even 40 days. For like three hours, okay? Chem is impossible to do. Because I, I didn't do the Chinese New Year work, and then I realized too late that tomorrow I had chem to finish. So I like, understand uh, So I, I, I subscribe to the writer's views at to a large extent means you agree with the writer's views quite a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, so writers I agree. That means yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, so that means I, you have to say that if you agree or no, I don't agree to what the writers say because I feel that uh, duration is still uh, a key factor to ensure weaker student to catch up. You see, ah, agree now because the weaker students because of you see all these. Tuitions are all the rich people will go for tuition, whatever. Then the poor also cannot catch up. That means they will always pay pay them yeah, 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 press down. So this is only he's talking about tuition for how oh, he never mentioned about poor people, huh? You must have a never say tuition is for the FAS or Pima Gerald. Correct now. Ah, now you understand. So when you're looking at this paragraph, actually you're helping you in your comprehension passage with you. Okay, who wants to start first? Stay with me, you can type it up in the Zoom chat or you can just talk to me now. And by whatever you talk to me, uh, you're writing down. Uh, if I approve, uh, you have to start writing already uh, and send it to me by handwriting. Uh. Stop typing. So that's why I want to go. Okay, Harleen, you want to start first? Can I just say everything I've like thought of out because I haven't written everything down? Yes, yes, yes. That's the purpose. That's the key of today's. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree to a, I I subscribe to the writer's views to a large extent. ATQ, well done. Edu- ATQ, answer the question. Well done. Singapore's education system has revolved around uh has revolved around different forms of like supplements adding on to a single student for that student to do well in the exams in the end. As uh teachers cannot cover all the things that a syllabus can teach within the limited time they have. Hence, tuition becomes very important for certain students, especially the more privileged, to be able to cover more knowledge within a certain time span and do well, do better than their peers. That's all I've thought of for now. Well, you say you subscribe, it means that you agree that 
the, the tuition must be less, like, not more. Like. That means you should say, I'm not subscribed to the writer views. Like. Because the writer view is that uh, the articles feel that there will be less demands for tuition if changes are needed. So they are, no, they are, no, they, no, I haven't taken a stand yet. This is just like the intro, but I haven't taken a stand yet. So because I haven't thought about the stand today. No, you must answer the question, that, what is the stand? Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I agree to a large extent because like oh, so you less don't demand. Tuition, for... You don't want the tuition or less demand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to counter attack. What are the things to replace tuition? If you don't support tuition, then what are the things to replace tuition to ensure the student from the lower income to the higher income they will have? I actually to... haven't thought too much about which one is like more better to write yet. <laughs> better for me to write yet. So. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I, need, I need time to fully process this and finish writing. Write down this, huh? Write down. Okay, thank you, Tenyu. Before we call a day, Tenyu, what is your thought? Uh, I, I'm still writing, but I, I said I, I disagree with the writer's view. Wait, disagree means that I would want more tuition, right? No, tuition. if you agree to it, huh, that means you would want to have less demand for tuition. Less demand means like lesser tuition. Ah. Yeah, just shut up. But I don't want to do So I, I disagree. So like... You so, want, you, that means you want tuition to be continued. Ah, to, yeah. Because to, uh, like, okay. my points are like, they are made for like all those weaker students or like students who want to improve on themselves on like the subject more. So that's like one point. Mm. Like second point is also like, it's like it acts like a temporary school for... Or like to cover up some subjects that like the school haven't thought or like oh the school cannot like keep, catch up yet. Huh? Well done. I just grant a hit, grant them a hit. Yes, yes, very good. Okay, you know how to put into words already, huh? Okay, so right now if you forget, you can still refer to this video, huh? Okay, you can refer to this video and 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 listen to what you have say. How about you, Gerald? Uh, so I will take a point from. Yes, please, yes, please. Go, go, um, go. So I agree on the writer's views to a certain extent. <coughs> um, basically, tuition is to supplement the students on what they missed out during class. So, um, in theory, if the students could catch everything in class or the teachers or the MOE could slow down class or the students, uh, they could catch everything so um, tuition or supplementary classes would not be needed. However, this theory only works if the students themselves would work hard and um, understand the importance of studying. Awesome, la, sweet. Now, you must write down, un they understand the meanings of the pedagogy and ethos. Okay, ah, right, use the two words. Huh? Go and find the meaning in details, please. Okay, go and write, write it down somewhere, paste on your wall, paste on your book, pedagogy and ethos. And also, Ali, you forgot to do a good things to the rest of us, method and methodologies. Which are the oh, best sorry, methods? Oh, sorry, my bad. Ah, that one you children. Leaders, that's very Because eventually you will use it in your GP, uh, G, uh, general paper. What is the difference between methodologies and methods? Like, I'll give you ideas. Methodologies consist of different methods and different sets of skills and, and beliefs. That's methodologies, okay? But the methods is that the way how you tackle a, a, a problem, a solution. Whereas a methodology is like a theory coming out from the ideas, then come out, then you have a methods. So like the same like Han chicken and egg, which one comes first? Is it methodology first or method? Then again, uh, Han I answer your question. It's methodology. Not because the word is longer, ah. Uh, okay. The logic means it's like psychology, philosophy, uh, all the Gs. So it's a set of all the things that comprises a big umbrella. So there are four words, uh, pedagogy. Ethos, methodologies, and methods. Okay? These are the four things that is what you are talking about. Whether tuition is in high demands or not to, or please kick out the whole entire education. Um, sorry, entire tuitions. Okay? Good. So next month, we are talking about philanthropies and volunteerism. Uh, how can this tuition come in? Yes. Do you know some, some organization, CDC, uh, also subsidize uh, tuition, you know, right? CDC. Now, all these will be related uh, to your social study. Huh? Like this month topic also related to some of your social study topics. Okay? So take note. Huh? All right. So um, that's why. Right. 